Ryan Seneker with music teacher Chris Woods. Chris, as always, thanks for your time. Sure, Ryan. Thanks for coming. You got a concert coming up next week. You got casting done for Beauty and the Beast. I want to catch up with you. What do you want to touch on first? Sure, yeah. Our concert's going to be at 6.30 next Wednesday night, and we're doing all, all songs from Broadway musicals. I think we're going to go about 45 or 50 minutes. It's not going to be a long one, but it'll definitely be a combined junior high and high school one again. Is the music going to be any live music as far as the instruments, or is it uh, some recorded music? No, it's just all piano and vocal. Very cool. You got the high school and the middle school students involved with? Sure. And, uh, you know, I really like the energy the middle school kids bring, and so I like keeping those concerts combined. Chris, uh, so that's, you said Wednesday night here at the Rich High School Auditorium. What time? Yes, next Wednesday, uh, the 8th at 6.30. And then you casted for Beauty and the Beast. Tell me about uh, who you cast and where and, and what we should look forward to. Sure. As I was thinking about it over the summer, there were, you know, a couple seniors coming back that I felt would do really great in certain roles. And, um, you know, as as things have gone on and as my casting crew and I have met and discussed different roles for individuals, only one person has actually remained the same of those group of kids that, uh, you know, where, where I thought they would go. And so, but that, that's why I have a casting crew because, um, you know, we're able to talk things out and then give different opinions on, you know, who would fit best in certain places. And then, you know, they, they help me see things that maybe I didn't see before. Who's your casting crew? So my casting crew this year was Aaron Ling Kogel, September Clough, and um, Sydney Meerbrook. Can you tell me some of the like, the Beast and Bell and some of the other main roles? Sure. Our two Beasts are actually going to be Aaron Ling Kogel and Nick Jarman. So that's one of those where, you know, there's a huge size difference between the two. So we actually have to order two different Beast costumes for them. And Aaron was one that uh, I, I had him pegged to be uh, Lumiere because I thought he could just do such a brilliant job. And then as we were discussing it, you know, the casting crew felt like he could do a pretty good job as the Beast, too. You've got to have a wide range of emotions for the Beast character, don't you? Yeah, I think so. And then uh, both of those young men, I think, will do a really great job. They, they both have nice voices that are pleasant to listen to. We're not going to be able to have the new songs from the movies. They wouldn't license those to us. But we still have the songs from the original Broadway musical, which are beautiful. And the Beast, right at the end of Act One, does this beautiful song called If I Can't Love Her. And, um, man, I'm just looking forward to hearing those two guys sing that. Our two bells are going to be uh, September Clough and Sydney Muirbrook and then Mrs. Potts are going to be two juniors, Taylor uh, McKinnon and uh, Emily Willis. So I, I think you're going to be very happy with what you see. I remember seeing the show at Evanston High School last uh, last spring, and that song that you just mentioned, The Beast Sings, If I Can't Love Her, was fantastic. Yeah, it's a beautiful song. And, uh, you know, I tried to reach out to them over at Evanston High School, but I couldn't figure out how to email anybody over there because I could not find the theater person. So if you could actually put me in touch with that person, because we could still use some staging ideas. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to figure out what I can. You mentioned a couple of those roles. What about Gaston? Well, that's another big one. Yeah, Gaston is one that's going to be played by Porter Weston, and I didn't have enough guys to double cast for that role, and so I and the casting crew felt that uh, he would just do a marvelous job all four nights for us. Chris, is there anything else we should touch on about the music program at Rich High School? Sure. I think, uh, you know, the pep band is coming along quite nicely. We're, we we definitely are, are lacking the star talent that I've had the past couple years, and so we're really in in the building stages, but I've got a couple seniors who I've been able to rely on quite a bit. That's Quade Argyle and uh, Savannah Peart, and those two kids are learning really fast. You'll see Savannah playing keyboards on one song. You'll see her playing drums on another. You'll see her playing saxophone on another song. So she's just really kicking butt and doing a great job for us. Looking forward to seeing the pep band in action just around the corner at some basketball game. Yeah, sure is, and you know, hopefully we'll be ready. Chris, thanks so much for your time, and uh, good luck. Do you say break a leg for a concert show next week? Uh, maybe that's just that just works in theater, but you know whatever we have to break to make it great, we'll do it.